All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Good Content. And on today's... It's not really special, but I have a lot of things going on, and uh, you can see I have one. If you follow my official YouTube Twitter, which you should, you would know that I had recently stumbled across an SH Monster Arts 2021 Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong, and uh, it was 35 bucks. I could not pass the. It's a. It's legit. It's awesome. I just don't. I don't like the paint. But that's for another day. I promised you a different figure to review today, and that is. Uh, uh, what? What's the name of? I forgot the name of the line. This is from. Uh, I'm only just starting to get into it. This is my second figure from this line, but it'll be in the title. Uh, so those of you who clicked on this video and read the title, good on you. You know what this is called before me. Or at least now you do. Uh, anyway, so yeah. This big hunk of plastic, in quotation marks, uh, it, uh, ever since I, okay. So ever since I came across, uh, ever since I watched uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, I love Broly. I've said this before. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Dragon Ball Super Broly review, which is literally the last episode I did on, of good content, you should check that out, by the way. Link's in the description. Uh, I fell in love with Broly. I, as some of the younger kids say it, I kin him. Uh, yeah. So, of course, uh, I'm going to buy almost everything of him. Uh, and it's not just going to be a super sane form. Either I'm going to get almost all versions of him. And as you can see, I have more. Those are the only other two I have. You may not... Yeah, you can see this, the small little statue I got in a, a blind box. Oh, let's do a mini review of uh, this guy. I'm not going to... Pick him up. Uh, okay. It, the the little invisible stand is getting loose because uh, that's the only thing holding it together. As you can probably see, this is kind of poorly designed. I should make a new stand for him. Or I should super glue it. I don't know. Anyway, let's do a mini review of this statue. It's not. There we go. As you can. There we go. It fell off. Anyway, as you can see. The painting is pretty good. It's a little wonky because of the size, of course, but as you can tell, it's a pretty good statue overall. A little figurette. Of course, it only came with this. Uh, it's a little stand that uses gravity and, uh, I fucking hate this. <sighs> like, literally, it, Ever. Don't. It, it literally won't stop it, stand up anymore, so uh, I'm gonna have to change something about that. Anyway, we're not we're done with that. It's pretty good. It's in blind bag. I got it first because I uh, it was literally the first bag I've noted. I noticed, so it was like. Huh, that's weird. That's a bit thicker than all the others. So I was like, hmm, let's see if I can tell the difference between any of them. And I, I think maybe there's only one Broly in the box of the blind bag because that was it. That was the only Broly in there, I think, because none of them were as boisterous or bulgy. Hey, bulgy, that's not a good term. Anyway, so yeah. Okay. If you're going to have a hard time finding it. I was lucky. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to this guy. It, uh, something, something. It was... Well, I remember... I don't remember the name, but it was made by Bandai. And it's... The action figures range from, like, $20 to $30. Uh, but they're cheaper, so don't expect anything amazing. Uh, as you should with Bandai. And let me tell you. Unless it's, like, a high-end Japanese import... 
Do not expect anything good from Bandai. You can still get the stuff, just don't be disappointed when it's bad. I should know. Anyway, so yeah. Here is the Broly figure from this line that I have not remember the name of. It's something something... I think the box is over there? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, here he is. Basic. The hair sculpt is a bit weird. It's like waving curly. And I think it's supposed to be like that for the most part. There's only a bit of bending. And I honestly can't tell what what's bent and what's not. So, uh... Anyway, so yeah. There you go. Nice. It... And then we go... Yeah. And let me tell you, the design is immaculate. It's obviously not my favorite design, as I mentioned. Again, go check out my other video talking about Dragon Ball Super Broly. Uh, but... It's probably second... Uh, but, you know, the figure itself is solid. It is, it really is solid. Like, like the, that is a solid, solid, like, all right. I have uh, my other figure from this line. It's the Mastered Ultra Instincts Goku. As you can tell, very different. Uh, and I'll I'll do this someday. I think I already did it, I'm not sure. Anyway, so yeah. Really solid, like, uh, when it comes to the, like, quality control, I don't trust Bandai, but, like, the oh, besides, like, the, obviously, this is har really hard, harder than it should be, and his, like, hip joints are a bit lo loose, like, you can just take them off whenever, but, Besides that, the only like real error that happened when the, with the quality is the this hand comes off way too easily. And I think that the problem is, or at least with the hand, this hand, the socket in there, there's barely any socket. It's like a quarter of a socket. So the ball joint can't, it just kind of holds on. Like if you're just playing around with it like this, like bah, 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 bah. It's, it's not going to fall off. But if you're, like, actually posing it and, like, doing this, it's going to come off eventually. But that leads into a nice little transition into the accessories. Uh, there's only two. Like, like, this guy doesn't have weapons. It would be nice to have an effect part, but actually, in this line, they often do, like, these big boxes with a figure and a lot of effects parts. So... That's pretty cool. I saw one with Vegeta in it and uh, some other stuff. But yeah, pretty nice, but you don't need anything. So here are the only accessories. Just open up hands, grabby up, open up hands. They, they're they accurate. They're, they definitely feel like Broly, Broly's hands. He does do make these gestures a lot. So uh, it just goes on like that. You can probably see. I cast upon you my energy. Ah, isn't that Broly? Does that sound like Broly? I love that. Anyway, so yeah, that's it for accessories, and that's basically it with the figure. Now let's get into the articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, and then you got the base of the neck is on a ball joint too. So you can look down that far and look up that far, but thanks to the hair, it's not much. Uh, and then you got the shoulders, and as you can probably see, right there, it's not a butterfly joint per se, or like a traditional one, but the arm peg, the ball joint on the arm, sticks out a little bit farther because so, so it acts more like a ball, uh, butterfly joint. So his arm can go, can go about that far back and that for, far, I mean that far back and this far forward. So it makes a lot more dynamic posing possible, but then there's something else with this figure that we'll cover in a second. 
and I probably already mentioned it, right? All right, anyway, so yeah, that just means this is completely unlimited. Up, down, bicep swivel, double, uh, double jointed elbows. More than 90, surprisingly, with how jacked Broly is. Like, this guy is close to 10 feet tall, or at least he is 10 feet tall in this form. Uh, which, it's weird, because, like, like, isn't Gogeta supposed to be 10 feet tall, but he's, like, this big compared to, like, Broly? Whatever. Exaggeration's fun. Anyway, so, yeah, and you, you gotta remember the ball joint and ball joint hinge swivel. So, yeah, the hands are almost unlimited, but the gauntlet here, the little lining here, makes it a bit limited, along with the, you know, so a bit of bop. And a bit, bit, a bit, bit of a swivel here. And then at the waist, you have a ball joint. And this is where I want to compare the Ultra Instincts Goku again. Because this guy, of course, basically different plastics. They're both like semi hard. This one's a lot harder, but they're similar plastic for the most part. But this Goku. This peeved me off a lot. See, the problem is with this guy. That's it. See that? That's it. That's it for the ball joint. It's basically just a ball on a flat surface. So as you can tell, I'm gonna take off the little fabric pieces. He can't get much articulation whatsoever. This is supposed to be the strongest Goku has ever been. He should be able to do dynamic posing. Then again, this is a cheaper line. If I if I want a better Goku Ultra Instincts figure, I should just get the SH Figure Arts. But he's expensive because of the aftermarket. I'll get him someday. I'll bet ya. I'll bet ya I'll get him. Anyway, so yeah. But luckily, with this figure, the quality of the pa plastic and the size of him means his ball joint and his waist is completely and utterly on there. Like, unless you pull, of course, it comes off. I've had to do it a couple times to get the legs back in, because again, the legs can come off relatively easily, but it's not bad, bad. It's just, you know. Anyway, so yeah basically unlimited like this is really expressive like he can arc back a lot let's see the, see he can arc back pretty well and then he can arc forward also okay i think it's just the articul the sculpt at that point remember he's jacked so his articulation being limited because of his build is fine to me but what's not fine is the ear of his friend. If you didn't watch the movie, that's probably a weird spoiler for you. Anyway, so yeah, the fur, it's way too hard. And like, it's like, compared to the movie, it's way too angular. Like this, this, it doesn't look like this in the movie. It's more of like a curve. So for some reason, they gave him more angular fur on his waist than he should have, which lim limits the posability more. And this is what pees me off about this figure, besides the wrist. His legs barely move. Like, here's straight and here's forward. Like, let's extend the leg a bit more. Let's be a bit more generous. That's forward. That's how far forward the legs can go. And don't even get me started on how far back. That sucks. I... Like... Come on. I'm a... I'm a posing guy. I'm an artist. I like posing my figures around and getting them in cool poses and watching them fight each other. But this just... Basically what I do is I just... I hold them like this and I just have them punch. So, yeah. That's all you can basically do, but... I will get the SH Figure Arts really soon. Not soon, but I'll I'll get them someday. So, yeah. 
Anyway, so that's the that's not it for the hips, but that's just how far they can go in. Here's the spread. I mean, that's fine. This is fine because that he do, that's basically how far he his legs spread or at least because he does that one pose where he's like because they all do that. This is basically the exact same pose he does. He just does this. He, he, he does this, which is like, that's fine. The spread, that's fine. The forward and back is, the back is, I can kind of excuse the back. It still sucks, but I can kind of excuse it. But the front, why, why, why this? Like, don't tell me about this. This is, these are all, the little ties. They're longer than they should be. But come on. Come on. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, the hips can drop down as a Bandai figure always does. So, there you go. You got hip drop. This can also cause the legs to pop up easily too. Because the, the hip joint that connects to the ball joint and the hips can twist without the leg twisting with it. So sometimes the actual like thing in the ball joint twists like this or like in front of the joint. And when I try and move the legs forward along with the skirt, it just pop, pop, pops off. So it's annoying. So if, again, if I really wanted a super posable Broly that I can just hang out with and pose like I do with this guy, the SH figure it's Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan uh, Goku. Again, I reviewed that as well. I might as well make a Dragon Ball playlist at this point, but I won't because again, I'm just getting into it. This guy is amazing. He was also, he was at Walmart. Uh, at Target, uh, they have Super Saiyan, no, they have uh, Goku Black. Uh, they have him at Target, this is at Walmart. So. This was $35, $30. So basically the same exact as this guy. Because they're made by the same, they're made by the same company. It's, I mean, they're different branches, but it's made under the same umbrella. And if you don't know, these are all made by Bandai. At least because, again, high, high quality figures do exist under Bandai. This is an example. This is amazing. I love this. I like this. And Godzilla is amazing too. But this compared to those guys is just not. But then again, this is more or less made for kids for them to be like, pow, 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 pow. So it's all in the money. Because this version of the SH Fragyard's uh, Broly is getting expensive. Because the movie, you know. This was also more expensive than it was. It was like $10 more expensive. But that's fine with me. 30 bucks for this guy. That's fine. Like, I can excuse it. But also, there's a bit of a thing later with uh, the size of him. Let's not get into that. But, so yeah. That's, that's the dealio with the hips. Then you got double... Again... The fur gets in the way, so. The knee joint's fine. It's pretty good. Then you got basically the same setup as the wrists on the feet. Pretty good. So yeah, that's the articulation. I, I say it's really good besides the skirt and the hips. That's annoying. Like, I want to pose this guy around and have him kick an ass. Not just floating there and punching the air. But it's fine. He basically does that for most of the movie. He flies around and punches people, does energy attacks, screams out energy. I know it's key, by the way, but it's energy. It's basically just soul energy, but whatever. So yeah, that's basically the figure's articulation. And uh, yeah, it's okay. Clearance issues, it's fine. So let's, let's get to the scale. All right, let's... Uh, and I have a new uh, average guy figure. Uh, you might know him. He is a bit of a, some big news in the Marvel Legends industry. 
here we have Marvel Legends Vulcan, the new base body in the Marvel Legends line going forward. I got him because he was 12 bucks. Like, who cares about Vulcan? So yeah, if you see this guy in clearance for like $15 or less, get him. He's a good base body. Customizers, people like me who like him to stand in for other characters, go ahead. It's all for you. So yeah, this is supposed to be like six feet tall in this in six inch scale. So as you can tell, this is the one problem. Scale. Again, SH for your arts does it better, of course, but come on. This guy's supposed to be ten feet tall, and with his hair, he's probably what? Seven inches? That's not a lot. This guy is just about six inches about above it. So this scale does not work. And that's the only problem with this guy that I think is like a design flaw with this. He's smaller than he should be even in his own line. Because again, Goku, he's supposed to be look, 5'11", 5'9". That's not how they should look. That's not how they should look. Of course, I do have a Goku in that scale. In scale with him. And... Uh, here's another Bandai Goku I have. It just, I should have, like, planned this out. Alright, hold on. Here is a closer scale to what they should look like. And as you, if you watch the movie or look at action figure, they say trigger arts again. This is this is really accurate. But then again, this figure is not the best. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Uh, also, let's get the say trigger arts in here. A bit better. This one's shorter than the Ultra Instincts Goku, which which makes even even less sense. Now, because the SH Figure Arts is shorter than this guy. So this guy should be bigger than the SH Figure Arts. So, again, I, I'm not trying, I don't want to sound picky. I really don't. But, us, I, I, I've said it for Step Brothers, remember that video? And I'll say it for this. It could have been better. But if they put more effort into this, then they would have put... A, they put more money into it. And that's not what this is for, like I said. This is for kids to play around and smash into other toys. So, for what it's worth, I just got a TikTok notification that says Weezer's performing. Do I look like a virgin? Don't answer that question. Uh, anyway, so yeah. If you want like a, a cheap, somewhat cheap figure that you can just throw across your room and still be fine, like, don't do that. Uh, Pick this guy up. I'm glad I did, even with all the faults. Uh, I also forgot to mention his torso is way too, his way too short. I think that adds to the problem with his height. His torso too short. Uh, I know his proportions are wonky. That's the point. He's supposed to look overly muscle, muscled. But again, height issue. But then again, the box he came in is pretty big. That's over there. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Again, like I said, pretty good. Could be much better, of course, but there's other, uh, other figures for that. I don't know why I keep saying G in words that don't have G's in them. That's the whole thing today. Uh, anyway, so yeah, pretty good. I like it. Could be better, but it's fine for what it is. So yeah, if you like Broly and you, you're... You're a little collecting snot rat like me. Pick him up. But besides that, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you do next Friday. I have a lot to cover. I have a lot to cover. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday. Goodbye.